In this video, we're going to look at sketching quadratic graphs. Whenever you sketch quadratic graphs, you need to do three things. One is to consider its shape. For instance, if it's x squared, it's going to be a u shape. Or if it's minus x squared, it's going to be an n shape. Okay, so you need to make sure you know if it's an x squared graph or a minus x squared graph. Secondly, you need to find where the graph crosses the x-axis. You do that by letting y equal 0. If you let y equal 0, then you can then factorise and solve it and find out the values for x, and that will be where the graph crosses the x-axis. If you find that whenever you try to solve it, you can't solve that quadratic, then the graph may not touch the x-axis, so in other words, the parabola may be above the x-axis. Okay, So if you can factorise and solve it, or use the quadratic factor, uh, formula and solve it, you may find there's two locations. There may only be one location where it touches the axis, or you may find that it doesn't cross the axis. And then finally, you need to find where the graph crosses the y-axis, and that's done really easily by just substituting x equals 0. Let's have a look at an example. So, in this question, we're going to uh, sketch the graph y equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. So firstly, it's an x squared graph. Because it's an x squared graph, you know it's going to have a u-shaped parabola like so. Okay. Next. We're going to find where it crosses the x-axis. To find where it crosses the x-axis, you let y equal 0. So that gives you 0 equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. When you factorise that, you get 0 equals bracket, 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 x at the front of each bracket, and then plus 3 and plus 2. And then that means, obviously, for the solutions, then would be x equals minus 3 or x equals minus 2. So that means it's going to cross the x-axis at minus 2, minus 3. So the as coordinates there would be minus 3, 0, and minus 2, 0. And then finally, step 3, let's find where it crosses the y-axis. So you let x equal 0, and by letting x equal 0, you'll get x uh, y equals 0 squared plus 5 times 0 plus 6. That'll be 0 plus 0 plus 6, so that's equal to 6. So that means it's going to cross the y-axis at 0, 6. So the key points on the graph will be this point here. Let's just change color pen. So it'll be this point here, minus two zero, here minus three zero, and here zero six. And then it would be a U-shaped parabola that would look something like that. It would go through the points. So I'll just show you now what it'll look like. So it would look like this. So it's going to go through minus three zero, minus two zero, and zero six, and it's a U-shaped parabola. Let's have a look at another example. So this time we're going to sketch the graph uh, y equals x squared plus x minus 6. So again, firstly, it's a positive x squared graph, so it's x squared graph, so it means it's going to be a u-shape. Second of all, or second, uh, you're going to then let y equal 0. By letting y equal 0, you'll find where it crosses the x-axis. So it's going to be 0 equals x squared plus x minus 6. Factorising that, then we'll give you 0 equals bracket, 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 x at the front of each and you're going to get plus 3 and minus 2. That means the coordinates where across the x-axis where you're going to get x equals minus 3 and x equals 2. So those coordinates there will be minus 3, 0 and 2, 0. So it's going to cross here at minus 3, 0 and it's going to cross here at 2, 0. And then finally to find where it crosses the y-axis. So you let x equals 0 and let an x equals 0 will give you y equals 0 squared plus 0 minus 6. So that'll be minus 6. And then so as a coordinate, that will be 0, minus 6. So this graph is going to cross here at 0, minus 6. So it'll be a nice U-shape going through those. Something that looks like this. Okay, so you'll see it goes through there at 0, 6. There at 2, 0. And there at minus 3, 0. Okay, this time we're going to sketch the graph. X squared minus, uh, y equals x squared minus 9. So again, it's an x squared graph. So you know it's going to have a U-shape parabola. Second of all, let's find where it crosses the x-axis. To find where it crosses the x-axis, you let y equal 0. So you get 0 equals x squared minus 9. So whenever you factorise that, that's going to be 0 equals difference between two squares here, because x squared and minus 9 both squared, so uh, x squared and 9, so difference between two squared, so you're going to get x plus 3 and x minus 3. So that means it's going to, uh, you're going to get x equals minus 3 or x equals 3, so the coordinates would be minus 3, 0, and 3, 0. And finally, to find where it crosses the y-axis, so y-axis, you're going to let x equals 0, so it's going to give you y equals 0 squared minus 9, so that would be y equals minus 9, so as a coordinate, that would be 0, minus 9. So the key coordinates then would be minus 3, 0 here, 3, 0 here, 
and 0 minus 9 down here and then you get a u-shaped parabola through those and it looks something like this okay okay next we're going to draw the graph y equals x squared minus 4x so again it's an x squared graph so it's going to be a u-shaped parabola next you're going to find y crosses the x-axis so you're going to let y equals 0 so you're going to get 0 equals x squared minus 4x Factorizing that, uh, well, you take x out as a common factor, so you're going to get x bracket x minus 4. And then that means that x is 0 or x is 4. So x equals 0 or x equals 4. So that means the coordinates will be 0, 0, the origin, or 4, 0. Okay. Next, we need to find where it crosses the y-axis. So you let x equals 0. So you're going to get y equals 0 squared minus 4 times 0. Well, that's going to be zero. Well, I suppose that makes sense. That's zero, zero. Because it crosses the x-axis at zero and the y-axis is zero. So it's going to go through the origin here at zero, zero. And so it's going to go through the point four, zero. And it's going to be a U-shaped parabola. So something that looks like this. And our last example. We're now going to sketch y equals minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. So this time, it's a minus x squared graph. That means it's going to be an n-shaped parabola like that. Next. So to find where it crosses the x-axis, you're going to let y equal 0. So you're going to get 0 equals minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. Times 3 by minus 1 will give you 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. And then just factorize that. Then we give you x, x uh, plus 3 and minus 1. So as coordinates then that would be minus 3, 0 and 1, 0. And then finally, just to find where it crosses the y-axis, you're going to let x equals 0. And then that would give you y equals minus 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 3, which is equal to 3. So that would be the coordinate 0, 3. So that means it's going to cross at minus 3, 1, and 0, 3. And that would be an n-shaped parabola through those. Something that looks like this.